Hello all. Um, hope everybody's alright. So, as you've seen at the start of the video, there, um, you've probably everybody knows now we lost Jack. Um, at the start of the week. Um, this week's been a very very um, tough week for for me and everybody at SCFC Fan TV. Um, you know, Jack was a an absolute one off. Um. He was the most down to earth, um, you know, genuine person you'll probably ever meet. Um, his knowledge of Sunland was was unbelievable for somebody of such a young age, at just twenty nine. Um, he's going to be a massive, massive miss to everybody on the channel, um, and, and to me personally. Um, I did think, you know, about about not doing a video this week. But knowing Jack as I do, he wouldn't have wanted the, you know, he wouldn't have wanted us to stop. You know, I can just see him saying, you know, didn't be daft, you know, keep on gun, show must go on type of thing. So I've done it. I'm gonna do it. Um, it's gonna be a, a tough one, but um, just for everybody's um, awareness, we are trying to get a, a minute's applause in the 29th minute for Jack. Um, at the match on Saturday, we've been in touch with Frankie Francis. Um, he's going to mention it on the stream at the weekend. Um, I think Chris Waters has also been in touch with Jack's family um, to put some arrangements together. But if you don't mind, you know, please like, share, tell your friends about that, just so we can raise as much awareness as we can to get him that round of applause to celebrate his life on Saturday in the 29th minute. So. You know, rest in peace, Jack. Um, sleep tight, mate. Miss you millions. Um, see you sometime. But anyway, we'll um, we'll move on to to the match on Saturday. So Sheffield Wednesday, managed by Danny Roll. Um, the bloke's done an absolutely fantastic job since he went there. Um, as you can see. He went there in October last year. He's he's managed thirty seven games. He's won fifteen, drew six, lost sixteen, got a win percentage of forty percent. Um, like I say, done an absolutely cracking job. Um, and he's a stat for you. So after ten games, we were fourth with nineteen points. When he took over Sheffield Wednesday, were bottom with just two points. If they beat us on Sunday or if they beat us on Saturday, they'll finish just three points behind us. So that just shows you, you know, the impact he's had in that absolute, you know, shotgun setting after the season that we've had. Um, unbelievable stat. Now, Sheffield Wednesday, they are unbeaten in five games, they've got three wins and two draws. And that kind of runs put survival firmly in their own hands. Um, a point on Saturday against us will guarantee them safety. And that'll be an absolutely fantastic achievement for Danny Roll. And one of the reasons why he's, he's been linked with us um, as, as our replacement manager. But if I was him, I'd stay firmly where I was. Even if they get relegated to League One, I'd still stop there rather than come to us. Um, you've got more chance of success being at Sheffield Wednesday than, than what you have with us by far so um but the last you know in that, that little run of games they've beat West Brom they've beat Blackburn they've beat QPR drove against Norwich and Stroke so you know some good results in and amongst that um like I see a point on Saturday will guarantee them survival so this this is the current league table so you can see you know they, we've got 56 points they're currently on 50 points Huddersfield have got a goal difference of minus 27 Birmingham minus 16, Plymouth minus 12, Sheffield Wednesday and minus 26. The other games at the weekend see Huddersfield going to Ipswich, where you really can't see them getting anything out of that game. Um, Birmingham are at home and Norwich. Again, Norwich still needed to guarantee their playoff place, so that's not going to be an easy game for them. And Plymouth take on Hull. Likewise, Hull still have an outside chance of the playoffs, so the three teams below them have all got difficult games. Uh, me personally, I can see 
it's staying the way it is. I'd be gutted if Birmingham gone down um, just for Tony Mowbray. But, you know, what they did at the start of the season, you know, they sacked John Eustace and brought in Rooney. And from there, it's been an absolute shambles. Similar to us, really, getting rid of Tony Mowbray. And then, you know, what's happened since has been a disgrace. So, um, I can really see the bottom three staying as they are. Um, but top players for Sheffield Wednesday this season, Barry Bannon. Seems to have been around for ages. He's their standout performer, along with Will Volks and Josh Windass. Um, top goal scorers, Ike Ugbo has got 11 goals. Anthony Musab has got seven. And Josh Windass has got five assists. Well, Musab has got five. Marvin Johnson's got four. And Will Volks has got three. So that's kind of their standout performers that we'll need to watch out for at the weekend. Um, now I, I don't think that they're going to come here for the point that they need I think, I think they'll come here and try and get all three um, having watching some of Danny Rolls football he, they're playing a great, a great brand of football it's some, some lovely stuff so I don't think they'll come up here and try and you know hole out for the draw like I say I think they'll come here and try and go for three points they've got now to lose um, they might as well go for it you know it's in their favour so you know why not as far as we're concerned you know, well, we've been shocking two wins in the last 10. Uh, Michael Dodds has only took nine points out of a possible 36 in his 12 games in charge. Um, you know, he got a win percentage of 16% in his, his final spell. The highest we can finish is 14th if we win and, and Watford don't. So for me, you know, I thank God for Tony Mowbray because if it hadn't been for them early points that he got on the board, um, 100% would have getting relegated this season. You now the chances are we could survive by six points. You know, which considering, like I said, we're in early in the video, we were fourth after ten games. It's an absolute disgrace. You know, and just shows you where we are as a club at the minute. Um, team selection wise, well, you know, this game could be significant for a few of our current players. You know, could it be Anthony Patterson's last game? Could it be Jack, Jack Clark's last last game? Could it be Callum Styles' last game, his last game on loan? Dan Ballard again being linked with other players. And Patty Roberts as well. You know, there's a lot of speculation around, you know, what's going to happen in the summer. He's had a poor season. You know, he's done he, I don't think he scored a league goal. Um and he's he's you know, he hasn't been anywhere near his best. Um and, and also Dan Neil, could he have also played his last game for the club? And, and Nasri Vushin apparently being linked with moves that he, that he wants to, to leave in the summer. So um, we'll have to wait and see what, what develops. You know, it's a massive summer for Sunderland, a massive transfer window. So um, we'll have to see what happens. But team selection-wise for Saturday, I, I really can't see us making any changes. Um, and I said Tommy Robson, um, Tommy Watson could be in, involved at some point um, on Saturday. But this is the team I think we'll pick. Um, it'll be Anthony Patterson in goal. It'll be a back three of Ballard, Luke O'Neill and Adji Alicia with Trey Hume and Callum Styles continuing at wing-backs. In the middle will be Pierre Ekwa and Job with Jack Clark, Chris Rigg and Adil Oshish. Uh, maybe Roberts might come in for Rigg, I don't know, but I really don't think, was, I really can't, can't see Dodds as, as, a, as change, going to change anything. Um, you know, he's got no tactical awareness, he's got, he's got no nine out really you know the tactics against Watford at the weekend were absolutely shocking and um, we offered no we've got no style of play nay nay creativity nay no so we'll just have to wait and say but like I say I'll just be so pleased when the season's finished um, get this game out of the way and then focus on get this rebuilding done in the summer hopefully it's without Christian Speakman you know he's been linked with the, with a move to Leon. let's hope it's true um, and he leaves uh, and we'll get somebody else in and we'll, we'll get this model tweaked and we'll, we'll get some some stability and get some progress moving forward um, for next year. Um, score predictions, like I said before, I think Sheffield Wednesday will come to you for the win, and I think they'll get the win. I think it'll be Sunderland 1, Sheffield Wednesday 2. I don't think we've got more than one goal in us at the moment, um, as recent results have proved. I think there's only been two goals in the last five games in, in, all, in, in all the games that we've played. Um but I think just Sheffield Wednesday, they're, they're in great form. They're full of confidence. They'll come here with with there with that, and I think they'll get the win. So Sunderland one, Sheffield Wednesday two. But get your predictions in um, if you don't mind. 
um, for the match on Saturday. It is between um, Kenneth Allen, David Williams and Kip Vera, who wins that Sun and Shirt for next season. Um, leaderboard looks like this. So Kenneth is on 38, David Williams is on 36, Kip Vera is on 36, um, with three points to play for. Um, Alex Dixon got the 1-0 scoreline correct against Watford last, last week, so well done to you. But... Um, like I say, I'll still get your score predictions in. Um, and let's see who wins that show for next season. Uh, but that's about it, really. Um, you know, don't forget that minute's applause for Jack in the 29th minute on Saturday. If you can tell your friends and share it amongst all you can, it'd be greatly appreciated. Um, let's all but and go and get him the win and, and give him the send-off he deserves. Um, but until the match review video will come out after the game on Saturday... Um, thanks for watching, take it easy, stay safe and we'll speak soon. ta -ra.